Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition Starter Set. Now, what you see before you, and the reason why I've kept it in this before doing my video, I want to show you how well Cubicle 7 sent this to me. This is extremely well, well wrapped up. They got to realise it was in a cardboard box as well. This is really thick with like bubble wrap. Anyway guys, Give me a minute and I'll just, we'll get to have a look at the box. So yes guys, yeah, um, let me just quickly show you. Uh, that was, it was inside, inside there, it took a little bit to get it out. But yeah, so guys, this is the set. I'm going to get my trusty little box cutter as well. And I'm going to just put this down the side and hopefully, yep, get this off. And we'll have a quick look at the front art. And I'll give what my first thoughts, first impressions are of this. I have got the PDF upstairs, so I'm a little worried though, because there's something some people have been saying about the map size. So I like the PDF of the map that I got with this, but I'm just wondering if it is actually, I wonder what size the map's going to be like inside of this. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to have a, just going to zoom in, and let's have a look at this box art. Now I really do like the look of it. Now, to me, that's a witch hunter. It looks like there's some rat stuff. Oh, sorry. Come down. There could be some rat stuff going on down there. Maybe Skaven. There's also the soldier. There is also the troll slayer. There's the uh, wizard. I wonder if I can see any of the other characters. Because I believe there's two others. There's the elf. Uh, well, the, the troll slayer is carrying a beer in one hand. Something's going up there. I'm not sure who that, who that is. Up there, some people. Those red little dots in the background. Oh, you can't see them actually over here, can you? Some red little dots back there, so they could be Skaven. Looking onwards. I like the look of the artwork, if I'm being honest. It looks really cool. You, again, you can see sort of rats running along there. I'm going to show you sort of like red eyes sort of there. Sort of a larger looking rat head there. And if you look at the wanted poster, that could be Skaven come back out for a second. Now let's turn it over and have a quick look at the back. So the back here, again there's some nice little, little things here. So it shows you some other stuff that's there. Some other things there as well. So what you get in there, so you get uh, to read this first instructions sheet. Six ready-made characters, an adventure book, a guidebook, three rule reference sheets, which I think will probably be very good. Uh, you get handout sheets, you get four, uh, 49 adventure tokens, mm, about that. Um, four highly detailed maps, two custom, uh, two custom dice from QShop. Now, I've bought stuff from QShop. They do some really good dice before. And a simple a games, games master screen. Now... I've got a funny feeling I know what the Games Master screen actually is. Yes, I think the Games Master screen is inside your box. So let's, uh, sorry, yes, let's zoom out. Let's lift this up a bit. And let's, so it's got the GM's advantages, how many coins there are to each sort of bit. Oh, it smells. Oh, I love the smell. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love, I love new game smell. It's lovely. Um, how do you know rounds begin characters this is this is really good I have to say I like this I like this that's really cool and then you get your two dice and let's have a quick look at these hey guys uh, it all oh, actually this might oh I've damaged the bag slightly I was trying to take that so that's your tens and that's your zero so for me if I see a zero uh, and another zero for me that's actually ten that's no, a hundred sorry that would be a hundred so yeah some people though I know play it a different way but they cross it as zero but I do play it as a that's a hundred okay so now we take this bit out for a second so we can have a look at the other side oh there's some tokens let's oh and then you've got the other map I'm to be honest guys, this is like on the other side, so that shows you where Alt Dwarf is, Bogenhafen. I would like another map 
sort of around around this area if they could release it for uh, Enemy Within campaign because I tell you what I did really like the map that I got with the PDFs. So these are the gaming tokens. Now I don't know what these gaming tokens mean. I'd probably read it somewhere and it would explain it to me, but I really don't know what these mean. Could be random. Different colours for different players. Who gets something randomly done to them, I don't know. I'm not sure what these do. Right, so let's quickly open this up. Ooh, something right on the back here. Oh, I've pre-ordered hard... Oh, sorry, rough, rough nights and hard days. So I've got the PDF for it as well. have to say, really enjoying what I'm reading of it. Um, love the pub games that's in it. Okay, so the first thing is it's telling us to read this first. So, prepare to enter a grim world. Okay, what, what's in this box? Okay, let's get started. Alright, so I'm just, oh, vantage tokens. Now that's not a bad idea. So you could put these things there for the advantages just to build up to see. Yeah, that actually, I, I, I actually kind of like that now then. So you can use these for advantages for different like characters and stuff like that. So yes, I like that. That's not a bad idea. Then you've got like the character sheets. Now I'm only going to show one. There's six ready-made ones. So you can sort of see what your sort of characters are. I don't want to show every character, guys, because again, sort of problems. Now one of the things I like with the PDFs. They have these things here. Now these secrets. Now these weren't actually in the character creation bits. But if you picked a secret, you got an extra D10 uh, shillings. Which isn't a bad idea. But at the same time, yeah. So that's the uh, soldier, if I remember rightly. Then you've got our friend the witch hunter. Again, I'm not going to show you stats on the inside. Then you have the uh, elf ambassador, if I remember rightly. Then you have the Amethyst Wizard, who's a wizard's apprentice. Or is he a wizard? No, he's a wizard. I think he's a wizard. Uh, da, 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 where's it say? Oh, fine. Yeah, he's actually a human wizard, so he's not an apprentice. He's better than an apprentice. Then you've got the Hobbit. Now, I don't know what the Hobbit actually is. Is she a thief? Or is she just... Uh, yeah, she's a Hobbit thief. Okay. She actually has a short sword, which is really cool. Ah, uh, damn. I was hoping... Yeah, I can see what someone was saying now, actually. Uh, there's the Troll Slayer. Sorry, I wasn't actually meant to open him up. But it's the Troll Slayer. Is this the... Ah, uh, yeah. Do you know what? I like the PDF for this. And there's a really good reason why I like the PDF for this. But at the same time, I don't think it's too bad. I've got an adventure I'm doing. Where is it? Where's... Okay, let me come back. My adventure... I've got here. I've renamed these towns. They've got different names. So, yeah. Kind of cool, though. That's where I'm doing my story at this second with my friends. So I don't mind this map. I think it's kind of cool. But I'm going to have to agree with what one person said. It's really small. I would like this to be maybe a little bit bigger. Saying that though, I do have a PDF where it, I could just zoom right in like that. And see what I want to see. And measure certain things that I need to measure with no problem on the PDF. But yeah, on here, it's a shame it's not a slightly bigger map. On the other side you have the city. Now this I think is kind of cool, it shows you the uh, the duchy of Uberreich and then who the certain lord, the main lords are within that area. Then on the other side that's I believe another map I think the players are entitled to have sitting in front of them. Again I don't want to show too much. Then you've got the conditions reference sheet which might be not be a bad idea though, if I have this out when me and my mates are playing. Because sometimes we have to you know, have a quick look on the inside. Then you've got like how the Empire instruction to Ubersreich, Ubersreich and the Empire. This is cool, I'm really liking this. Then you've got a reference sheet to sort of like work out how certain things, do, you know, are basic sort of things. Skills and the tests. I, I, I think this is very well done, having these sort of sheets. I mean, like you what I'm seeing for a starter set, if I'm being honest, guys. Um, wounds, this is cool. Yeah. Alright, so there's certain things there. And some combats and... Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Right, so now I've got a couple of things here. Now, there seems to be some handouts. I'm not going to show handouts because I think that'd be a bit naughty of me to show handouts. 
Uh, maybe the only handout I'll show is this one because I don't want to give out what could happen but there's there's a thing here telling you what you could do for haggling and stuff like that a picture of ale and so on so this is kind of cool but yeah I don't want to show the others because they're they're involved with the story so I don't want to ruin the story but then I also got something telling me to play Vermintide I have I do actually I used to play this I haven't played it much recently um, just don't have the time and then a bit also telling me about rough nights and hard hard days. Now, to be honest, guys, I think the rule book itself for uh, is really good. Now, I'm going to start off with the adventure book. Now, again, I don't want to show too much. So, one of the things I really like about this sort of book is it shows you the induction, what you should do, all the way down to the main adventure. And then you've got loads of little ideas of... We we'll just quickly come through, so you've got different sort of like little bits. I love the artwork, different people. You don't, you know, you can make up your own sort of things. And then adventures in, so you could do adventures that's they're like different characters, different stats. One of my favourites is at, I've actually printed this off, so I like this page bit because it gives me a, like a goblin wizard I can maybe use at some point. So there's a lot of different like other adventures you could do yourself afterwards, which I think is really, really cool. I don't want to show too much. Uh, critical hit tables, again, that's that's if you're not doing a location and determining the outcome of certain successes. That's clever. Then there's the guide to, uh, sorry, the guide to Uber's right. And again, it's a... 50, a, sorry, a 64 pages, loads of like really cool information, I think this is really well done, nice little history sort of part, um, I started my game a bit, bit earlier than, um, the, sorry, I've started my game just as Carl Franz has actually been elected, so I'm a little earlier, so you've got all this lovely information of different places in here, I don't want to stop, even some Chaos Cults, some other places, one or two places you guys may know if you play Vermintide as well. Uh, so there's a lot here. Now one of the places I would love, Cook Dark Colts. Again, I don't want to show too much. And there's also a certain other bits here. So you've got this little bit at the back here. So guys, that is the it. Again, for um, a starter set, not bad. Uh, I paid 20 something pounds for it. Um, I'm also going to say that I, I've, I own quite a few, I've owned a few starter sets now. Um, I got the Call of Cthulhu, which is something I love uh, as well. I also got these all the Star Wars ones, which I believe I've done the videos for on this channel. Maybe not all of them, but I've done some of them. Um, so maybe check that out. I'm going to put add this to uh, Kickstarter sets and the Warhammer playlists. Uh, also, just to let you guys know. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really have been enjoying this. Um, I haven't tried the starter set adventures yet, so I can't say much about them. I have been playing Warhammer a lot of my life, so I'm going to be slightly biased in this sort of guys. I, but I still think the best starter set I've probably owned, now I haven't played with this one yet, so I can't say, oh, th this is definitely the best or stuff like that yet, because I haven't played it. I have read stuff. I do like the map. Especially that I've got a PDF and all of that for it, so it's very easy for me to sort of use. Um, I think this is probably one of the better ones. I like the Star Trek one, but I don't think the Star Trek one's as good as this. Because this one gives you a lot more stuff you can do after the adventure as well. It doesn't go like, oh here this. It gives you the basis as a GM, and then you can work your way through with adventures around the area. And with the characters that are actually in this set. Now the characters in this set are better than the ones you would actually generate yourself to begin with so you got to realize so if you're using these characters they are better than let's say someone who wanted to start the game off not at uh, level one so these are kind of like your level two in their careers and stuff like that um so yeah but i do recommend it the dice look really cool um really good quality sort of dice i love the artwork the artwork's really nice the box is nice and thick now that's you know, I've, I've had some kick, you know, like some starter sets, like the um, Star, uh, Star Wars by Fantasy Flight. Their boxes are awful, utterly awful. Um, 
again, Pathfinders was quite good. Now, another thing I liked about Pathfinders, again, you had you start, it gave you a map of a certain town that it was easy to start off with. It also gave you some other little ventures you could do, and so on as well. Um, so I'm in a little toss-up at this minute between this Call of Cthulhu starter set or um, Pathfinders. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Pathfinder, the, uh, but the start set was great. I have to get I have to give credit where credit is due. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the set. Have you bought it? Have you has it been sent to you? Um, I'm gonna say yes. I do find the maps a little small, but then saying that they fit within this. Um, so, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like me, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. Have you played Warhammer? Are you interested in Warhammer? Have you got this set? If no, um, I got this set as well. But I also got this set for one reason, but not just for the start set uh, as well. So I've got some adventures or some adventure ideas or even sort of characters. Um, I think maybe if they could have had some blank character sheets in this, could have been something that could have. Uh, may have been nice because most starter sets do have that some blank character sheets so that could have been nice if that was in there but that's not um, but you know at the end of the day again I can't knock it uh, sorry as I was saying the main reason why I bought this set is because it gave um, gives a whole town so like information on the whole town and I'm really like looking forward to that there's another reason why I'm looking forward to see what they do with um, the enemy of in campaign which is called the enemy within shadows is it or shadows within i'm really looking forward to that because i want to see more stuff like for bog and half and that this has maybe map like this has maps for so yeah guys anyway guys if you like this video again let me repeat myself please click like uh let me know in the comments are you interested in getting it and yes hit that notifications if you want to see more videos from me Guys, thank you for watching, thank you, and see you later. Bye!